Hello friends! We got another Ryan DeMarie oil paint thing here. So he recently, about a week ago I may say, came out with a Barbenheimer uh, set of hot pink and Fiesta wear orange, which I thought was the funniest thing, so I immediately got it. Um, this is pretty much his run of the mill. He has his pigment blisting over here, linseed oil, take a look at this bottle too, why not, yeah. Linseed oil. If he has to wear orange, you. Like, there's another one. Um, we are going to look at the pink one today because the Fiesta orange, I don't have a really bright orange. I ordinarily mix my own with yellows and reds. So I'm going to see if I can actually get um, one of these, uh, something to compare this to. But also, as a quick aside, this video is sponsored by me. So a lot of you know that um, I live in New York City and me and my sister like to uh, go to the beaches of New York City and we make these little sea glass things. We pick up sea glass here in New York City and then we make these little necklaces and that's what we do sometimes. And I don't know if that's a thing you want to see, uh, our adventures with sea glass or not, because right now mostly I have a lot of ideas but no skill, like sea glass turtle things that I'm trying to do. Um, this is my first time working with clay too, so it's like, I'm trying things, and I don't know if that's a thing for this channel, if you guys want to see it, but I will have a link to my shop and my sis me and my sister's Etsy shop, if you want some nifty sea glass jewelry from New York City. But anyway, on to the paints, sponsored by me. Um, yes, we got the hot pink from the Barbie, Barbie Heimer thing, and we're going to compare it to... Gamblin's Radiant Magenta, Michael Harden's Brilliant Pink, and because I had it, a good old Rose Matter Genuine. There's a Rose Matter U, and I have it somewhere, and I can't find it. So we're going to go with the real thing for now. Yes, and we're going to mix with a little bit of Titanium White, and we are going to see what we get. So yes, we're going to start straight up with the with Ryan DeMarie's. I will also link Ryan DeMarie's shop in the description. Um... So, he only has an eBay store as far as I'm concerned. He used to have an Etsy, as far as I'm aware. As far as I'm concerned. As far as I'm aware. But he does not anymore for some reason. Maybe because of fees. I don't know. We are going to try and do this a more professional way. So, you can actually see the tube coming out. And that's as good as we're going to get with that. Because I do not know how to YouTube. Um, yeah. We got new palette knife. That is a... It's more of a rosy kind of pink than a bright hot thing. It's 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 duller than I was anticipating. It does ma it, it matches. It does match. I can't say false advertisement, but it's kind of dull and ro more rosy. Probably great for florals though. But we're going to mix with a little bit of white to see what we get. We got a little bit of that going on. I will try not to get in the way of the camera when I'm putting paint down, but I don't think I can because I don't know what I'm doing half the time. But yeah, we got some. And I forgot to prop open the garbage again, so we're going to have some garbage noises in a bit. Yeah, it gets nice and nice and rosy. That's a nice little rosy shade. It's not hot atomic pink. But outside of Gapka, I don't think anyone really makes super hot atomic pink. And Gapka, I haven't uh, had the best experiences with. I ordered another sample pack from him, so we'll see if maybe round two will be slightly better. Garbage noises. We are going to go into the Gamblin Radiant Magenta now. Pink. Radiant Magenta is a bit more pale. Yeah, that's going to be... Not as rosy, it's not as ra it's I don't know what they're what they consider radiant, but it's all it's pale. It's it's rosy again, but it's like a pale rose. It's like someone's phone is ringing. You're gonna hear that for a minute. Um, yeah. If you can hear some random noise going off, that's my roommate's cell phone. Got a little bit of white. We are going to do this. Yes. There we go. The phone has stopped ringing. Now I can live my life in peace. I 
gets pale. <laughs> it's about what we expect from a from this particular shade. So yeah, I do like their output. I do like the Gamblin Radiant line, but the Gamblin Radiant line is this is what you expect. It's not nothing is bright and neon and toxic. I wish Stuart Semple would make his pigments into oil paint. Oh my God, we're going with the brilliant pink now for Michael Harding. See how this goes? Yeah, I don't use this shade often. I kind of forgot what it looked like. And that is more red than pink. <laughs> that is certainly a color. It's not lying, um, but nevertheless. Come on, up you get. Yeah. That's almost hot pink. That is almost hot pink. But it's like a hot reddish pink. It is. It... Okay, we're going to have to compare that. And we're going to put a little bit of white. I need to get a slightly better tube or get one of those paint clampy thingies to make the paint go whoosh to the top. Yes, words English. <laughs> going to mix it over here with the white. Wow, that, that pigment is definitely overpowering. The white does not want to do anything with it. Okay, so Brilliant Pink has an extremely kind of overwhelming pigment. The white didn't do shit. Yeah. Now we, now we just wipe that off and we get to the last one. We're going to go with Rose Matter Genuine, which is kind of a price one. This is a bit of a more vintage bottle. Was this made in France or was this made in England? Made in France. Ah, this was after the switch. But nevertheless, the ones with the tubes with this design do seem to still have its better quality than the ones made now. You got. Oh. As I was saying, as oil just leaks out. We're gonna close that tube up tightly. Yeah. We're doing things. Trying not to get any on the tape. No, oh, Windsor and Newton. As I was saying about their quality. <laughs> okay, we'll put a little bit more white than usual because, gee, that is thinned. Rose Manor Genuine, an expensive color. And this is what happens. Yeah. I mean, it gives you a fantastic pink that a lot of artists absolutely uh, swear by. But also, like, what the heck, man? There we go. There we go. I accidentally made a gradient. Um, yes, but also I'm curious about this. One second. We're going to do one more little thing. We are actually going to, I lied. We're actually going to look at Fiesta Wear Orange. And even though I know it's an orange, but Brilliant Pink. Whoop. I'm good at YouTube. But Michael Harding's Brilliant Pink is very bright. And I'm just curious what this looks like next to it. Just, just a little bit. There's a shit ton of pigeons landing in front of my apartment right now. Okay. Just a little bit of orange. A little bit. That came out really smooth, though. I have to say this about Ryan DeMarie. 99% of the time, he makes quality stuff. But he's still just one guy. So every so often, something slips through. But I'm just gonna... Yeah, that is a bright-ass orange. We're gonna mix it with a little bit of white. and see what happens. Da -da, da -da, da -da, da -da, da -da. We are gonna mix a little bit of orange. I'm gonna have another video with Fiesta Wear Orange with like actual comparisons against other oranges at some point, but I don't know when. Maybe in a week, maybe in two weeks, who knows? Um yeah. yeah. So we got a little preview of Fiesta Wear Orange over there. Um yeah, I like Fiesta Wear Orange, it is bright. But hot pink. The uh, Barbie Heimer Hot Pink is very dusty, very rosy, but it definitely is brighter than the Gamblin's Radiant Magenta. It has more of a punch to it when you put them side by side. Uh, which one was this? This was Brilliant Pink by Michael Harding. Holy shit, man. It's, I wouldn't necessarily call that a pink because side by side, it's kind of like, wow. Those two would work together, actually. If you have to wear orange or Brilliant Pink, that's going to make one hell of a thing together. Uh, runs are in the rose matter, Jenny. Um, yeah. 
Yeah, Windsor and Newton, the quality... I feel like the quality after they switched the factories to France just kind of took a nosedive because they're older, vintage, really vintage tubes from like 40, 50, 60, 70 plus years ago. They hold up. Not the... <laughs> Not anything apparently made after 1995. Um, yeah. And that's pretty much where we are. And I will have also sponsored by me and me and my sister Sea Glass. If you want to uh, support me and my sister by buying some Sea Glass necklaces for whatever reason, we will have that. I will have that link in the description. Um, and I will also have a link to Ryan D. Marie's shop. But um, also because we're here. Here's his business card, and here's his actual information with a scratch on it for some reason. And yeah, he has an eBay. He, I don't know what blurb is actually, but he has one of those. And yeah, that's his little signature that he has on his bottles as well. And yes, he does not know I exist, and that's about it. Thank you, everybody. Thank you for watching. I will have another more in-depth video with Fiesta Wear Orange when I have something to better compare it to. Um, here's a clay cap that I made that I'm working on. Yes. I intend to have it looking into some sea glass with a fish painted underneath. That is my idea. I have a lot of ideas, but not a lot of skill. Okay, thank you, everybody. Goodbye.